Welcome guys back to another video in the channel. Today we'll be looking at two huge, huge transfers and uh, welcome to my new series that we'll be doing in the summer transfer window that is Arsenal Daily Transfer News Daily. Again, this is a series that I do want to go off and uh, for the rest of the summer transfer window. I was going to do one for the overall but again, I just didn't think that would work out especially with me being an Arsenal channel. So let's get straight into it. We've got two huge breaking news as you have seen from the title one from the thumbnail and that is that Thomas Party has had a bid rejected and that Jolson Fernandez has reportedly had a bid accepted for him to come to Arsenal. So let's get straight into it. First of all, we're going to start with Thomas Party. Now, the ever-reliable um, Fabrizio Romano has reported on this and he has suggested that a 22.5 million pound bid um, has a plus one player has been offered by Arsenal and Atletico Madrid are not going to sell Thomas for less than 50 million euros which is the release clause but Arsenal today have told Atletico Madrid that they won't pay the whole release clause no agreement and this has come from Matteo Moreto but for Fabrizio Romano has confirmed those reports and obviously it's so reliable that I do think this is true because Arsenal don't want to play the whole release clause of Thomas party now I believe, my sources believe that um, the one player that has been offered to Atletico Madrid is Matteo Guendouzi and um, Atletico Madrid are basically told Arsenal that they don't want any sort of player plus cash deals, they want just the money straight up, the release clause which is £43 million paid straight up with no cutbacks or anything like that, no players but apparently if Arsenal were to offer Alexandre Lacazette they would consider because Alexandre Lacazette is so favoured by uh, Simeone and Atletico Madrid. You know, they could consider it because they are looking for a striker to partner up with the likes of Jao Felix and Diego Costa and Alvaro Mar Marata not doing very well over there. Maybe Alex Lacazette could be a potential uh, make weight for uh, Thomas Partey that could, you know, lead um, Thomas Partey in the other direction and Alex Lacazette going in a straight swap. Now, this is something that is you know could happen you know it's a real possibility that Thomas Partey could come to Arsenal and that sort of deal but really Arsenal need to make a move on you know we need to pay that release clause if that was Atletico are looking for because we don't want this to stall all summer because you'll have other teams like the Barcelona maybe PSG coming in for Thomas Partey and trying to sign him so we really need to clear this up quickly Next piece of news is of Jolson Fernandez. Now the news here, Arsenal to seal transfer of Jolson Fernandez in the next 24 hours after Sporting Lisbon have accepted an offer. Arsenal reportedly closing in on a deal for teen prodigy Jolson Fernandez, a bowler from uh, Portugal claimed the Sporting Lisbon winger seven, who is 17 years old could be becoming a gunner in the next 24 hours with Arsenal reportedly ready to meet his £40 million release clause. It said Arsenal Chiefs are in Lisbon to close an agreement between Sporting Fernandes and his agent Kia Jurabachin. They are aware of interest from Barcelona and Juventus and Mikel Arteta wants his club to strike while the iron is hot. With Arsenal meeting um, Fernandes' release clause it means Sporting are unable to prevent a deal from going through and effectively accepting the £40 million. Arsenal were hoping to uh, make a deal done for £13.6 million, pounds, but um, it looks like Sporting have rejected that deal, even though the reports were saying he could have accepted it. It's, it's really weird what's going on with this deal. I just don't think anything's right with this. And again, I can't see Arsenal paying the £40 million pound release clause, even though Thomas Partey is only £6 million pound more. I mean, that's, that's just mind-boggling for me. Like, Thomas Partey's is like... Six million more is release clause, and instead of paying Thomas Partey's release clause, you're gonna pay Joseph Fernandez. He's six, 17 years old. 17 years old. What is he gonna prove? You know, unless we do, you know, sell Lacazette to go to Atleti, and then we bring in Jolson to replace him. That makes sense, but it doesn't look like we're gonna give Lacazette to Atleti. So this looks really, really dodgy right now with Joseph Fernandez. Are Arsenal really, really in Lisbon to secure this deal? It looks really sketchy to me, and I don't think this will happen. But this is the reports that are coming out. There's so many edgy reports because one, one minute Arsenal were like securing it, they were gonna, you know, pay the release clause. Next minute deals off. Next minute thirteen point six million forced to accept. Next minute Arsenal she's Lisbon now this it, it, it just seems so sketchy to me it's so two-minded you know the reports in Portugal are so different and it just doesn't seem to make any sense for me again this guy hasn't really proved nothing I've made a video on this um before but again 
it, I, I just don't see this man it's just I don't know what's going on and uh, it's going to be really hard to see what happens in this so that is Thomas Partey and Jolson Fernandez. so let me gu uh, guys know in the comment section below do you think Thomas Partey will get over the line do you think Jolson Fernandez will get you over the line as I said before um, this uh, series that we're doing Arsenal Transfer News Daily this will be continuing continuing for the uh, until the end of the transfer window and hopefully we will be uh, covering the breaking news of Jolson Fernandez or Thomas Partey coming to Arsenal hopefully we can get some deals over the line this has been obviously this will come out before the FA Cup final so hopefully maybe winning the FA Cup final getting some to Europe can make us secure both these signings for me I'm not still not sure on Joseph Fernandez as I've just said I've made a video on him so if you want to check that out separately go into my channel and you can check out my video on Joseph Fernandez again I'm really not sure on that one but with more news Arsenal have reportedly you know made a bid for Philippe Coutinho again it looks like to be a similar one with Arsenal offering Matteo Guendouzi to Barcelona uh, Barcelona asked you know really keen on Matteo Guendouzi but they have rejected an approach from Arsenal to sign him permanently apparently Barcelona want 45 million pounds plus Matteo Guendouzi and I think in the current climate I just don't think that's going to happen uh, Barcelona do want 18 million pounds in a loan fee for Philippe Coutinho obviously that doesn't look like it's going to happen but again I just you know Will Philippe Coutinho come to Arsenal again? His um, agent is Kier Jurabachin. So I don't I don't know if Kier Jurabachin and Arsenal Chiefs are in Lisbon to secure the Joseph Fernandez deal and Philippe Coutinho wanting this deal done after he's played in the Champions League. I just think this could be a long-winded one that could take quite a while in my opinion. Next one is Willian. Apparently Arsenal are looking to sign Willian again. There have been rumours today that he's going to sign an extension with Chelsea but there are also rumours suggesting that Arsenal could come in with a uh, contract offer again. Again, this player, his agent, is Kia, Jura, Batchin. Oh my God, how many times are we going to hear this guy's name, guy's name, man? He is agents with Kia, Kia Jura, Batchin, and I do think because of that, this deal could get over the line. I think he is a very good, experienced winger who could really help us. Again, I have made a separate video on this, so please go check that out. And uh, yeah, that is the news on Willian. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed, please do like subscribe. If you guys more, want more of these Arsenal transfer news dailies, please um, comment down below. What should I improve? Uh, see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.